Hello everybody, welcome back to the Neal's Homestead. If you followed along on our channel for a while, then you probably know that we have a large pond outside our door. I think it's the backyard. Old guy thinks it's the front yard because we have an earth contact house and so those kind of those yards get kind of mixed up for us. Anyway, it's just outside our door and we can walk across a little bit of the yard and there it is. For the past two years, we've stocked it with uh, catfish. And last year we did a lot of catfishing out of it. And there are several videos to watch about that if you'd like to follow along. We set up a jug line and we went out and checked it every once a day or twice a day, depending. And I put quite a bit of fish in the freezer, looking at the possibility of trying to dry some of it. And I've decided that I'm going to. We have a Cabela's dehydrator. That's what I'm going to be using. So this video is about the process of getting the fish dried. Thanks for joining me. I had put this big bag of fish in my freezer to save for Christmas but as it worked out we didn't get to have it because there was some sickness in our family and it the plans had to change so I'm thawing that out for this project today the other ingredients that I'm going to use is some Cajun seasoning I've got these tiny little onions that we grew that I'm going to put through my little tiny food processor and then some minced garlic out of my refrigerator, some black pepper and I made some uh, cowboy candy. This was some syrup that I had left over. It's jalapeno flavored, pretty sweet uh, with some vinegar in it that, and I'm going to use some of that um, and add it to water. I'm using canning salt because you you shouldn't for some reason that I don't really understand you shouldn't use any kind of treated or iodized salt. I'll be marinating in it in a glass jar because I like to use glass instead of plastic as much as I can. I'm going to drain my fish really good in this colander in my sink. Now this fish before I put it in the freezer I soaked it in salt water so it should have the uh, fishiness soaked out of it pretty good. After the fish is drained pretty well, I'm going to cut this into tiny little strips. Like, um, depends on what part of the fish it is. Down here at, e at the head end, the gill end, I'll just cut it in about strips like that but as I get to the thicker part of the meat I'm going to do my best to cut it slice it at only a quarter of an inch thick which is very thin but this is what's recommended for drying it so that we don't have any kind of bacterial problem going on I added the garlic to my onions in my little food processor so that I could pulverize them and they would be better distributed through the marinade. After I got my fish all cut up, I weighed it and I have about four pounds, maybe slightly less than four pounds. And now I'm ready to mix up my brine and I want four cups of liquid. And I'm using one cup of the jalapeno syrup from, that I made the cowboy candy out of. And then I'm using three cups of water. Now this syrup has, for every cup of juice that I used, or liquid, I added three cups of sugar. Uh, I don't know what the exact proportions are after all the sugars dissolved in the water, you know, because it takes up volume too. So as far as the proportions of water and sugar, I don't know the exact numbers. And then I'm adding in my onions and garlic. I'm adding salt, and it's a lot of salt, half a cup, and it's... Um, going to be pretty salty, which concerns me a little bit. I don't want it to be too salty to enjoy, but this acts as a preservative. So I'm going to dump in half a cup of that. 
a tablespoon of uh, Cajun seasoning that I have that I got at my local bulk food store. That's going to add a little more heat and some other spiciness to it. And then I'm going to put some more pepper in, but the black pepper kind. And that's going to be about a teaspoon. I'm going to stir that around and make sure everything is well dissolved. After I get that dissolved pretty well, I'm going to put my fish right in there. These little skinny strips are going to be well exposed to all of that salty marinade with the flavorings in it and everything. I think that the flavorings will help cover up any fishy flavor that might want to overwhelm. Uh, now, I know that catfish can be kind of fishy tasting, but we have found that the fish that we've raised in our pond that we fed, and we don't let them get too big, generally maybe uh, two and a half pounds is what we keep, or bigger. Uh, they, I don't feel like we've had that much fish flavor in our catfish. We've been real happy with the way it turned out. Okay, now I'm going to put a lid on this, stick it in the refrigerator, and it's supposed to marinate for 8 to 12 hours, which will be this evening, uh, and then I'll get it put into the dehydrator. After the appropriate time passed, I've got the strainer set up here to accept my fish, and for a few minutes I'm going to let that drain. Well, after I've drained it pretty well, I'm going to be putting it onto these racks. So turn this this way. I have these fiberglass screen wires that I made to put on my racks for stuff that might fall through, and I think this would suit this really well. And what I'm going to do is just stretch these out on here with a little bit of space in between. It's going to take a little bit of time, but that's what I have to do next. My first tray is done. This kind of, this specific tray goes on the, the top shelf, so not the very top, but at least the top three or four. I have four, almost four pounds of fish and four trays out here. I'm hoping that I can do one pound per each tray. Well, it turned out that I got it done on three trays, which is good, I feel like, because I can spread them out farther. And uh, I'm going to move that one down one. It gives more air circulation room. I will be uh, doing the temperature at 146 degrees. It only goes to 145 or 150, so I'm going to stay with 145. And the time is for 12 hours. I don't know yet how much this is going to stink up our house like fish. We sleep with our bedroom door closed because we like it to be cooler in there. And I think that will help us since I'm doing it in the evening. It won't be stinking up the house during the day. But while I was doing the spreading around, it didn't smell fishy at all. It actually smelled pretty good, like the spices I would use to marinate everything in. So I'll report in the morning and see how stinky my house is. Come in! <laughs> Hello. Hello. Thanks for coming down. And I guess I'm here to taste test some dried fish, huh? Yeah. Yep. Let's, Let's go in the go. kitchen. I gave Jeremiah a call and asked him to come and give a taste test to my fish. I looked at it. It's pretty dry, I think, but I'm going to let Jeremiah look at it and see what he thinks. Okay, I'm excited about this. That does not look like fish. <laughs> it's kind of funny. I'm sure it does. Okay, so what do you think, Jeremiah? Well, I'm not sure it's completely dry yet, actually. Looking Where do you here. think it's not dry? Well, any of these lighter spots, I think there's still moisture in that, but we'll see. Okay, can you um, touch it and feel, see what it feels like? Is it going to peel off of there very... See, it's not brittle yet. It's still... We'll see. It, it could be a... I guess I'll go ahead and try this. You want to try that one? Okay. Yeah.
pretty salty. Yeah, um, that's what I was worried about. Tastes like catfish. I think it's not 100% dry. But if you were going to eat it before it molded or something, it, that would be okay. Um, it's good. It It is too salty, though. You need to leach it out a little bit more or something. Um, I, it's not really crispy yet. I, too much. Some parts of it are. Uh, I, so I think it's not 100% dry. But it catfish also has quite a bit of fat content in it, which makes it dry differently than other fish. Um, part of it would depend on how you're going to store it. If you're going to try to store it on the shelf with no refrigeration, you definitely want to dry it some more. If, if you're going to freeze it again, this is probably good enough. And then you could eat it like jerky or fry it and eat it. Does eating one make you want more? Yeah. Um, oh. I definitely, well, you can see, if you can zoom in there, see all the oil on that? That's going to make it not dry as crisp, which is fine. I mean, that's the way it is. Just uh, helps you judge what's dry and what's not. So would you be able to eat this without a quart of water nearby? <laughs> <laughs> so if I were going to eat this, I, I've eaten a lot of dry fish in Asia. Probably what I would do is fry this again on the, in the skillet with a little bit of oil, and then I would eat it with rice and vegetables or something. And the rice helps cut down the saltiness of it. So that's what I would do. Mix it in with something. Uh huh. It's very common to make fish about this salty in Asia. So it if helps. you go to the Asian store, you're probably going to find something really similar to this in a package. Yeah. Um, well, usually whenever they dry fish, what I've seen is they'll dry smaller fish and then you eat them whole. They'll split them in half or if they're small enough, they'll just dry them whole. But they quite often salt them to do that. Salt them pretty heavily. But yeah, tastes good. Tastes a lot like that. All right, let me ask you this. Did it smell fishy when you came in my house? I didn't notice anything. In well, my we didn't notice anything all night. I can't smell any kind of fishiness, which surprised me. I expected my house to be kind of stinky. It'd be like a fish market. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Would you recommend doing this anymore? Well, I would say my family would probably eat this. We like dried fish, and it's very similar to other stuff that we've eaten. It depends on your tastes. If you're a person that can't stand fishy taste, this probably isn't for you because it does have fishy taste, but it's good. It, less salt though. How do I get the salt out? Soaking it in changes of fresh water should get Before I dry it? Yeah. Okay, well thanks for coming and trying that. You want to take some with you to work today? Oh, I think I have enough. But I'm satisfied, tickled too. Just to be with you